And so now I'm at the beginning of um, row 4. It says not to chain at the beginning of this row and that we want to skip the next stitch and we're going to 5 double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to skip a stitch and do a slip stitch. And we're supposed to do that all the way around. So when it's talking about skipping stitches, if, if I'm looking at my work here and you're looking at the Vs, um, and you can even look at the, at the, at the, um, the post stitches too. So if I'm looking at the post stitches, like here's a post, there's a post. So if I'm looking at that right there, that's like a stitch, and I'm supposed to skip there. So I'm not supposed to go in under that first V right there. I'm not supposed to skip that one and actually come over here and go under that one right there. So that's where I'm going to put my, um, my double crochets. And I know it seems a little awkward because you've not done your, um, your chain stitches, but if you have to hold your finger to come under here and yarn over so that you can get that first one in. And once you get the first one in, it's, not, it's really not difficult. And like I said, that's one, and then we're doing it all, doing these five all on that same, that very same stitch. I think that's four. Let's count here. I'm not sure, so I have to look. One, two, three, four. So I've got to do one more. So now I've done the five double crochet in that in that stitch right there. And now the instructions say to skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to slip stitch in because all the five are going in there. So I'm not going to, I'm going to skip this one here and I'm actually going to slip stitch over on over here on the next one. And the slip stitch you put your, your hook in, yarn over, and pull through, and then I'm going to also pull through that um, that same loop on my hook. And so basically, what I've done is I've made the the five double crochets, and then we've sort of like anchored it like down into the work, and that's going to is what's going to give it the scallops. And so now we're going we're to do this all the way around. I'm going to yarn over again. It says to skip, so I'm not going to do my five double crochets in that very next. V, which is right here, I'm going to skip and go over to that one because it says to skip. And if you have to, you know, pull your pull it apart so that you can see, you know, where you're at and where you're supposed to skip. So I'm going to yarn over, skip that next uh, stitch. And if I look, sometimes it takes you have to really sort of look, um, and I can see where my yarn's coming out of for that slip stitch. So it's really not that one there, but it's this one here so I, that i got to skip and go over. So just make sure you really look at your work to see where you're supposed to put those next five double crochets. And that's two, three, four, five. So then after the, after the five double crochets, we're supposed to skip the next stitch, not this one, skip that one and come into this one and do a slip stitch. Because that slip stitch is what anchors it down, like I said, and makes it look like a, a scallop. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. Skip the next stitch, so not where my yarn is coming through, where I just did my slip stitch. And I'm not going to go in that very next one because I'm skipping it, but I'm going into the next one. And that's where I'll do my five double crochets. That's two, three, four, and then five. And then skip the next stitch and go into the next one and then pull up and do a, a, a slip stitch to anchor it. So now I've done three uh, of the scallops by doing five double, start at the beginning, skipping one, doing five double crochets in the next stitch, 
skipping a stitch and doing a slip stitch, five double crochets in the next one, then skipping a stitch and slip stitch, then skipping a stitch and doing five in the next one, skipping a stitch and doing a slip stitch. And continue to do that all the way around. What you end up with is your coaster um, with all the scallops made. And only la the last thing that we have to do is to put our single crochet border on.